In Snowflake 4, we added a widget system to be able to put widgets in the main Snowflake interface. It started very simple with just this simple clock that you tap to see the date. This has settings for setting time format and date format in the configurator. But over time, we've added more. We now have 13. By default, in Snowflake 4.5, three are enabled. It's this, it's my feed, where you can set a message uh, and you can set a RSS feed. This could be an internal news feed or it could be just a general news feed like in the default Snowflake where we have BBC World. This is pretty ideal for public spaces where you just want to have information going across. And this is the third widget that's on by default. This is a Twitter widget. You set it to an account or a tag or something like that. For us, it's uh, set to our CEO, Harry's account, and it has um, important company information. But now I'm gonna show you the other 10 widgets that are available. So now I've enabled all 13 widgets. As you can see, it gets quite busy if you have all of them enabled at the same time, but there should be something for everyone in here. The first widget up here is a basic video widget. This just plays a video on a loop forever. This is pretty ideal in, for example, a corporate reception if you just want an introductory video to your company that just runs all the time. Or if you just want some kind of other thing that users will always see the first thing they see when they get to the screen. This next one is a basic picture widget. This is a great way to put some branding in the software. This one is showing the Snowflake logo, but you can of course put anything in there. But yeah, company logos is pretty common use case. This is a world clock widget. You can add pretty much any city in the world here and it will show the time to it. Uh, this is pretty ideal for hotels that want to show their guests what the time is in their hometown maybe or in other parts of the world that they might be traveling to. Same goes for airports where they might want to show what the time is at the destinations that they fly to or from. Or maybe even a company with multiple branches around the world that want to know what the time is in each office. This next one is an Instagram widget. It shows all the pictures and videos posted either by one user or posted to one tag. This is pretty great if you have a company Instagram account, then you can show the latest stuff here. And this is really quickly updated, so you will get the new pictures really soon. Or also, if you have a tag that you're running a promotion on, then you can let users post pictures to that tag and they show up automatically on the screen. This one is a currency converter. It's of course very ideal if you're in a hotel or a airport or even a train station where you have international travelers that need to know what the local currency is worth in their home currency or vice versa. You can set which currencies are available in this. We just picked a few as standard. Then this next one is a calculator. If you're in a business where you need to do a lot of math like me, then uh, this is pretty handy. This one in the middle is a stocks widget. It shows stocks information. It downloads stocks information from the internet all the time, so it's uh, always up to date. It's pretty ideal, for example, in a business hotel or maybe in a bank where people might want to quickly be able to check over on their stocks and see that Facebook is up by 1.94%. That's pretty great. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's stocks. And down here we have a text widget where you can just set a static message on the screen. Like you might want to be able to put, welcome to New Tech Towers or remember to buy corn or something like that. If you have important information like that you want to share. Uh, simple, but very effective. And down here is a slideshow widget. Here you can throw in images of baby products or other brand related images you want to show, um, especially in public areas then when you would have people walk in such as a corporate lounge or just general public spaces. Then down here, you have a weather widget. You set the location and it shows the weather. Currently it's set to Shilefto, but it could be anywhere in the world. I think we cover most cities. And uh, you can of course change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit because while five Celsius is pretty cold, it's nowhere near as cold as five Fahrenheit. So it's of course good that it shows what you expect. This widget can of course be used in corporate settings, but also really ideal for public spaces such as reception areas, hotels, restaurants, train stations, kiosks, any area where you would just want to have people be able to look over and see what the weather is. Now I'm also going to quickly show where you go to configure all of these widgets. To configure widgets, you go into the Snowflake configurator and you go into the widgets tab. And there you can pick a widget on the side and you can check if it should be on or off in the right side panel. And I currently have the video widget selected so I can browse for a different video. And I can change the sizes of it and I can 
change various settings. Also, I can drag them around to move them visually. So I can just do a visual layout really quickly just to get it exactly the way I want. And that is widgets in Snowflake 4.5.